It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the New York Jets and the New England Patriots, and it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Today, a fun matchup in the AFC East as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the New England Patriots. From up top next to Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And folks, we were already excited for this game. And then before the contest, you and I are down on the field outside the white lines. Yes, we were following the rules. We were following the rules. And a ball comes over our direction, but we can't see it. Somebody yells heads up. And instinctively, you turn around and you snare it one-handed with your off left hand. So now we're really ready for football. No gloves either. No gloves. No gloves. Not like what the guys are wearing playing the game now. But wasn't that a whole lot better than that time we were down there? And I got the coffee spilled on me when I got nailed by the punt returner. That happened to the Vikings, right? Yes, yeah, a much better job of being heads up this time. Thank you for the thank you for the notice. Here's a punter, Thomas Morstead, to get this one started. And we are underway in Foxborough. This fielded right at the goal line. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Patriots. So a heck of a start to this one. We haven't even gotten settled in already in the end zone on the opening kickoff. Now, now, now you got to translate what that means because I think for a team to just score their defense, I think they'll be more aggressive now. They'll be bolder. They're playing with a lead and an early one and some momentum. So if you're the offensive coordinator on the other side of the field, you better be prepared for some heavy pressure coming your way. They're going to try and get another big score and a big one early. Chad Ryland now to add the PAT. And he gets it to make it 7-0 Patriots. So how about that for an intriguing start? The opening kickoff of the ball game, return for a touchdown. So let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They're led out by a former number two overall pick in the draft from BYU at Zach Wilson. And what was really attractive about Zach Wilson coming out of college, coming out of BYU, his ability to create and make plays what many people thought they didn't exist. But what's been even better is watch him improve in the pocket, able to hit the back foot, make the right read, and the right throws. Wilson gonna come out throwing. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's gonna be able to pick up decent yardage. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave them with second and a yard. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised, as we just saw there. First carry for the Iowa State man, Brees Hall. And he'll have a Jets first down as he gets it up past the 35. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for him. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. 
But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. On first down, right back to Hall. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. This pass out wide the hole. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Seven yards there and a first down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. And they'll come up second and seven. On second down, a run with Hall. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run, went with straight-ahead pursuit, and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Now Wilson. Complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 28. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. I don't know whether I want to be a fly on the wall or not when they hear the explanation of how he, one of the bigger targets on the field, the tight end can be that wide open and uncovered downfield. Who blew that assignment? Somebody did. No doubt about it. There's no way you're not going to account for him. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. Here's Wilson. They're able to find Alan Lazard. We get another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect 4 of 4 to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter. Second down and three. As they've got it as we resume action. Back to the ground with Hall. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Four yards to pick up, first down. Ordinarily in short yardage, most people don't run a toss because it takes a little bit longer to develop. But some teams see it as a very physical type run because the amount of people that get out in front of the runner, offensive linemen, tight ends, sometimes an extra back, they like to run that play there and try and run over people. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. And he's dropped just before the line to game. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. This opening drive, play number 12 now. This is third down. To throw is Wilson. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Randall Cobb, a nine-yard. 
yard touchdown grab. And the Jets drive it right down the field to score on their opening drive. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in, didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they like, the whole deal, and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Well, now how about this return? And they'll have this all the way out to the 50-yard line. Excellent field position. So here come the Patriots getting ready on offense. And they will be led out by their second-year quarterback. And he's a young man who's always believed in his talents. Didn't have many offers out of high school. Ended up at Houston Baptist and put up monster numbers. Decided to take the next step and go to Western Kentucky. And he did it again. Set NCAA records for passing touchdowns and passing yards in a single season. Now the big jump to the NFL. This guy's like a very skilled point guard. Knows how to deal and put the ball in the proper place with every throw. Stevenson now on first and ten. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. From the 44 now, here's second and four. Zappi working from the gun. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for not. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Now a second and ten. Again, it's Zappy. Throw left side complete. That's Stevenson. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Third down. Here's Zappi. Blitz coming, and down he goes. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Chad Ryland now on for the field goal. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. And that is no good. And more than a foot or so wide to the left. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. 
And this is one of the risks you run when you attempt a long field goal. If you miss, the defense takes over the spot of the placement. So now they've got a chance to get one more drive in before halftime. All eyes on Zach Wilson leading his team back out for this next drive. The returns on the last drive, pretty good. Seven for seven, touchdown pass. Probably take that, right? I would say so. I mean, when you're cutting them apart that way, feeling so accurate, so confident going downfield, and then able to culminate by putting it in the end zone. Oh, yeah. He's feeling real good right now. Now he'll try to carry that over to this drive. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion, but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts, as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Here's Wilson. He dumps this one off here to Hall. And he is out of bounds, looks like right at the 15. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Being chased out left. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. No short to depressing moments for him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. Now come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, now Wilson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Touchdown, Jets. Randall Cobb in the final seconds of the first half. And the Jets have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. So they're able to break the tie just before halftime. Now they just don't want anything crazy to happen on the ensuing kickoff. Yeah, they want to just add the extra point. Get the kickoff taken care of and get to the locker room with the lead that they fought so hard to get. Now Zerline on and the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive spanned five plays. And it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. 
All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. On the return is Xavier Gibson. And he returns this to the 22. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 22. He'll give it to Hall to start the drive. Shifts by him, and he'll have a Jets first down as he'll take this up to about the 33-yard line. Those are the type of runs that we did not see from him in the first half, but a good start to the third quarter. And I know what everyone's thinking that's watching this. They did a great job adjusting at the half. Oftentimes, you don't make adjustments. You just dial into your game plan a little bit better, and maybe they're starting to make some headway. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 14 yards is the pickup there at a jet first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Lazard will go in motion right. He'll get it here on the jet sweep. Oh, this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Matt Judon there to bring him down. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All of the guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. Now it's Wilson. Powering forward. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. And defensively, maybe an opportunity miss there. No doubt about it. When that ball's out, all you're thinking about as a defender is this is our chance to make a huge play. Instead, he's able to recover his own fumble. And you sigh of relief, huh? Yeah, usually those wide receiver fumbles, there's open space around for the defense, but not there. He hops right back on it. And a check down, complete to Hall. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Three yards, all they can muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Here's Thomas Morstead now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to, how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. And a nice 
nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. First target, first catch, and a first down. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. Out of the gun, they give it to Stevenson. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Give the tackle that time to Jordan Whitehead. is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Stevenson gets it again on second down, and he's going to have a Patriots first down as he's able to get these up past the 40. But, partner, the defense isn't going to adjust, and they keep giving them those five, six, seven-yard runs over and over. They're likely to run it the whole way to the end zone. They'll be more than happy to take the yardage available and save some of their other plays in the playbook for another time. Again, it's Stevenson. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. The tackle by Quincy Williams. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Zappi's throw into the hands of Henry here. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 44-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. First and 10, Zappi. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. They'll try again here, second and 10. From the shotgun, Zappi. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage, and some, they like to go for the big shot. No fear in risking a deep ball there, but it wasn't enough to get them the completion. Here now, third down. Zappi. Got a man open, that's Devontae Parker complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 33. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. And that's complete downfield to Parker. And he gets us with inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Uh, he's been quiet all afternoon. He may have just come up with a play of the day right there, though. Obviously, it's not the volume in which you get done. It's the quality, and that was a quality catch right there. They'll come up first and 10 here. To the right side, this is Stevenson. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Ramondre Stevenson taking it in for 11 yards out. And the Patriots are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. 
Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. This taken in at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The New York set to take the field. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. They come up now on second and two. Throwing now is Wilson. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Well, this crowd into it now, third and two. Here's Wilson. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but he does bring up fourth down. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And partner, you and I both know the safe calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up a chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win. Well, the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. Oh, and the tackle comes quickly. That's only going to get him a couple. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And yeah, he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. And we need overtime to decide this one after four quarters of play. We're all even. The extra session in a moment. This is the NFL on EA Sports.
So the Jets won the toss. They'll get the first shot at finding a winner as we are back underway here in overtime. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And New York set to take the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson finds Lazard quickly on the slant. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. So they come out throwing in the extra session and get a nice hook up right away. Tells you a lot about what a coach feels about his team, doesn't it? That type of a play in overtime. So many people in this situation play not to lose instead of playing to win. That throw there tells you exactly what they're trying to get done. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. On first and 10, it's Hall. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second down and six now. Ball again. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. Two straight four-yard runs, and it is steadily working the ball downfield. To me, they're staying right on schedule. First down, you want four yards or more to set up the rest of the drive. They're getting exactly that. Hoping to keep this OT drive alive. Now they face a third and two. They'll run with Hall. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Decision to be made on fourth and just a few inches in overtime. What do you do? I know you've got to weigh it out as a head coach because if you don't get it, you've turned it over in a great spot for the opposition to go down and win the game. But fourth and inches, I think what most teams do is they say, if we can't get inches, we don't deserve to win anyway. Here's Thomas Morstead now. On for a very important punt here in overtime. And out of bounds, sailed over, looked like right near the pylon. This one's going to be perfect. Directional kicking at its finest right down at the one-yard line. Brandon, never quite sure what the side judge or the field judge is going to rule there. That was awfully close, but in the end, he says it passed over the one-yard line, and that's where they're going to mark it out. I mean, you can see it right there, right? See him walking up the sideline? Told him to stop right there at the one. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And he'll get him a little bit of breathing room across the five to the six-yard line. But both teams practice this situation. And this time, the guys on offense won, and in a very nice way. What a run from that position on their own goal line. Gave him some good breathing room. I wonder now, do you still stack the line of scrimmage, or do you play normal defense? They may have backed him off with that run. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. But only able to muster a gain up to the eight-yard line. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Here's Zappi. He's got Smith-Schuster, and he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Just straight money right there. The biggest drive of the game, a chance to win it in overtime. If they've been saving that play, they should have pulled it out at the right time. A huge turn of events there. Now the big play pushes him all the way out to the 40 now for first down. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And some room to work. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 
71 yards rushing for him now as he is just trying to win his guys to an overtime victory. As always, no rooting interest here, but that was pretty, wasn't it? To see him break through and then pick up his stride. Yeah, the guy carrying the ball loves it. I think the O-line, they might like and take more satisfaction out of those runs than anybody else. So, under a heavy rush, and down he goes. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. And that particular play just came from the outside. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Here's Zappi to throw. A throw to Parker complete on the slam. One overtime. How about two? We need another. We're still even. We'll switch sides and have that second overtime in just a moment. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Now Zappi. Oh, and that's so close to being intercepted. That could have been a big turnover in overtime if he had held on. Instead, though, it is still fourth down. Once that ball was popped in the air, you could almost hear the silence, the collective breath being held here in the stadium. Let's be honest about it. We both came out of our chairs, didn't we? All right, anytime you see the ball in the air like that, there is that collective rise, the crowd holding its breath, and boy, oh boy, the moment of truth as it comes down. Man, that was something. Everything magnified here in overtime. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at the 20. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson. This is caught with a catch right side. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. This being their second opportunity in overtime, third overall drive, see if they can settle into a rhythm. And that's what you're looking for. Get a few first downs, move the ball downfield, have some confidence, get yourself in a spot where you can at least kick a field goal to win it. But I tell you this, if I'm the play caller, I'm looking at that part of my sheet that says playmakers. Get the ball in their hands, critical situation, now's their time. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Wilson to Wilson there, Zach to Garrett for a jet first down. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're at OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down, but a nice little gain. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that will bring up second down. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Oh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right to the teeth of the woods as the linebacker was freed up in order to stump that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. On third down, here's Hall. They find some open field here. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Wilson. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Multiple players getting home for an eight-yard loss. Well, that was an interesting little chess match there because the offense went empty set. No running backs in the backfield. So they're trying to get people out into a route pretty quickly. But guess what? The defense sees that. They go ahead and move, it, move themselves into a blitzing situation and come right after the quarterback. They had more guys there than they could block. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw into the hands of Kyle. 
And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. Slam routes effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. And he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. Now whistles blow and the Patriots are going to take another timeout. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. such a treat Charles in the NFL when you can go on the road and get a victory and that's exactly what they accomplished here today. Ah oh, the trip home so much sweeter isn't it all the noise they heard before how tough it is to win on the road how tough it is to play in this stadium how hyped up that crowd's going to be they just used it as fuel came in full confidence believed in themselves and got it done. So that'll do it for us for my partner Charles